It's dealing with bribes. And this is oftentimes not things that happen under the table, even in the house of God. It is those church leaders, for instance, that will accept bribes like members that tithe a whole lot more than other members. Have you all ever noticed? I've seen this in ministry. I've seen this since I've been pastoring. I've seen this. It don't go on here. Have you ever noticed or known, even throughout any of your church life, that there was people that tied a lot of money and a, and a church leader wouldn't say anything to them, but there may be people that didn't tithe as much that they would certainly say something to and confront. That is an example of a bribe. And a bribe means, here's, here's the goal. A, a goal of a bribe is met for only one thing, and that's compromise. I'm going to compromise your integrity by providing you with something that your flesh lusts for, yet that stands against the principles of God. And when we talk about corrupt leadership, we have to, we have to always, remember I told you about un, uh, being an unbiased actions. I love that song, Sweet Home. I just love that song. I'm a church leader, and I've seen when a pastor gets up and say, that's my song, how much confusion it's caused in the choir. I've seen that before is what I'm saying. And when we talk about unbiased actions, whether somebody ties a little or a lot, we cannot make biased decisions based on bribes, based on people sliding us up under the table, even threats of being removed, even threats of somebody saying, hey, you know what? If you don't do this, we're going to call a meeting. Brother Preacher, we're going to put you out. A lot of times, so many of us, Men of God, we back off because we are bribed with keeping a position rather than standing on righteousness, not understanding that even sta standing on righteousness may keep us in positions. It's righteousness that edifies position. Position doesn't mean righteousness. You, you understand what I'm saying here. So when we talk about bribes here, and this is what the scripture is talking about, we have to be, from, our lap, from one of our earlier lessons, unbiased and not accept the bribe in order to be incorruptible leaders. So any of us that are leaders in the house of God, I'm asking you this, whether you are usher board president, whether you are choir president, whether you mission kitchen, whatever it is you do, care ministry, video ministry, social media ministry, can you be bribed to be a corrupted leader? Here's the thing about corruption. Once you do it, once you are compromised, each successive action, it's easier to compromise on. And the next thing that you know, you're sitting back, a compromised leader, and those very people that compromise you working for the enemy are gonna throw you away anyway. Yeah.